Hey, Louie, everybody. Uh, this is a quick on-the-fly lesson. I wasn't even going to do the lessons today. I actually have a couple plans for tomorrow that I was going to do. But this is just strange how this happened. I bring it up because it's a request and I want to remember who sent it to me. Oh, yeah, so earlier today I was playing guitar. And I've said this before, the benefits of this. I wasn't playing anything. I wasn't learning anything. I was just doodling around. I wasn't... And it's one of those things when you... And it's the same with the Merlin. When you just start playing around, playing anything, you will happen into songs and it'll click. And it'll be like, wait, this is something. And this is what I do. I do it all the time on the Merlin. I, I've come up with more songs doing it that way than looking stuff up, looking up chords, just playing and finding something. And as soon as you find something, it's like, wait, what is that? And you go into the song. So I was playing guitar earlier, and it wasn't one of those, it wasn't, I, oh, I just happened to do something. It was, uh, I just want to make sure I'm recording, that would suck. It was, I found a chord progression that I've probably done before, but I didn't click in. I was like, this is pretty cool sounding. Uh, on guitar, it was A minor, F, and E. Like, this is pretty cool. So I, I'm playing around with it for a little bit, and then I had to go out, I had to run out and get some stuff. But I came home, I came back to it. But while I was out, I got I got a, a comment on my YouTube page. <sighs> Daniel Williams, uh, if I could ask if you could, I gotta go into it. And if you could do "Southbound" by Ben Barnes. Now this is, I guess, a movie. I've never seen a movie. I looked at the preview for the movie. The woman that's in the movie, I just don't really care for her. <laughs> Her movies, like, but the, that being said, it's about a guy that plays a guitar, and I have a hugely bad habit that no matter how bad a movie is, if I see a guitar in it, I watch it, and it's horrible. But, so I looked up the song just quickly, and it's A minor, F and E. I'm like, well, wait a minute, I was just doing that. So I'm like, okay, I, I started on it right away because I wanted to. And the, the song itself is a pretty good song. The intro is what makes a song. On this, in my opinion, I, the intro was great. I love, love the way it was done. But for the Merlin, we gotta bring it up. We can't do an A minor because it just doesn't work on a Merlin. But it works in a B minor, so we have to uh, bring it up a step. That being said, if you want to play with along with a song, tune your Merlin down a step. So tune your turn tune down to an E. So you're gonna go E B E. And then play the B minor, you'll actually be playing A minor and you can play along with song. That's not where we're doing. Right now we're going to do B minor. So the reason I want to do this lesson right away is because it's fresh and I just, it's there. And it was one of those two that it's, uh, and this is how I'm going to label it so more people see it. Because I know most, a lot of people won't know the song. But it's, it's an extension on what we were doing with that claw hammer. Right? So... It's a good song for that, and it's it's it sounds complicated. It's really not. Uh, there's a couple hammer-ons. There's a bend, but there's not much melody. We're doing this song because it's a new song to me. I don't even know, don't even know what the words are. It was the intro that caught me, and basically the whole song is the same thing over and over again. It doesn't change once. So you learn the first part and you just play that over and over again, and you're good to go. So what we're, are we playing? We're going to be doing B minor, 2, 1, open, G, 3, through 3, F sharp, 2, 2, 2, and then is there an A, which we're going to play 4, 4, 4. So basically all bar chords except for that B minor. Now, this is the claw hammer part, okay? So if you watch that video, that's how we're doing it, right? So pretty much you're pinching your thumb on the low, your pointer on the, on the high, you, I call it a pinch, it's kind of a pinch, and so you do that and then down, so that's just a refresher for the claw hammer. For this song, what we're doing is the same thing, but instead of just doing the high and low, we're going to alternate, we're going to go middle low. Middle low, high low, middle low, high low. So 
that's what we're doing for strumming. And there is some embellishing you're going to be doing as you're playing it, but that's the strum throughout most of it. Now let's get a proper angle here so you can see both fingers, both hands. Alright, so it starts in B minor. So you're going to start with a hammer on on your middle string to the first fret. Okay, now hold on, let me get into this again. It's very, when a song is so fresh, it's very hard to slow it down and teach it, but it's one of those things. It's like a Tenacious D song, the, the a tribute to the greatest song ever written. This is just a tribute. And it's every time is the same. You know, I'll be practicing right before we record and it goes perfectly. As soon as I turn the camera on, it's complete shit. Every single time. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But just, okay, let's just, I'm gonna go through it once here just to get it and then we'll slow it down. Hammer on the first, do your strum, and then when you come back to the middle pinch, you're bending on your second fret. So, you almost have to hit that one twice to release the bend instead of going back to the high. Give me one second. Because if you pull it off, you hit her nose, so keep with the same strumming. And then from there, you go up to your G. First time, okay, so we do this prior uh, progression three times. Each time, the G is different, okay? The B minor stays the same, the F sharp stays the same, but we're going to do the G different all three times. So the first time is just a normal strum. nothing and then F sharp so that strum pattern right so bass every time but you're doing middle middle and high on a pinch Okay, so if every time for the first time is nothing, no embellishments on that G. Second time through, and then you just an add on there in the middle string on your fourth fret. Back to the F sharp. You can actually add an, do an add-on, follow it there too. You don't need it though. So instead of doing a bend, let's just do a, a hammer pull. You can add the bend later once you're timing, but that bend kind of throws the timing off. So let's just do a hammer pull for now on that B minor. Third time, you're going to do some quick notes on that G. So basically, using three fingers, pointer in your middle, and your thumb. So each finger is on a string. Okay, so that's the third G. So let's do all three. After you do it the third time, go 
go back up to the G and you're doing that little add-on back to your F sharp A and then you start over you do this a quick A here too. So that time when you go up to the G for the add-on, instead of going on that strum, going middle high, middle high, you're going middle, middle to get that timing right for that pull-off. You can do a pull-off there too. So middle, 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 middle. So middle, middle, I'm saying. Middle high is you stay middle middle. So that's for that part there, which is the second time through. First part is solid, third time through. I did change it instead of using each finger, I just did strum downs. does work better if you go middle pinch the whole time bass middle and never go to the high but then you lose something so there are times where you'll be doing middle middle and then there's times with a middle high basically when you're doing a straight strum middle high middle high when you're doing the embellishments you want to stay middle middle and for the last part the just strums and then you go back up to the G That one is middle high. I know it's a lot. It's it's a picking, right? It's most everything on this one is gonna be on your uh, right hand, and I know it's a lot. And the thing about this song too is that uh, once you learn the three different G parts, you can pretty much throw them in however you want. You know, when you need to listen to the song. Uh, it like there is some play you can do with it, right? You don't have to do it the same every time, and it's it's just a fun song once you get into uh, into that claw hammer style. So, but like I said, I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna label a song. Even if you don't know the song, that way you can get another claw hammer practice video type thing in there. Anyways, that's it for this one. I'm probably gonna do the other recordings tomorrow just because uh, they're still working on a few. I got some good ones. Some more. Some, uh, 
I think I'm doing too much country. So I think I think I gotta do some other stuff here soon. But I get some more classic country stuff coming up anyways. So, anyways, that's it. Practice patience. Have fun, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.